Hello, my name is Spindemus, and in this video we're going to be learning about how to add images to your website. If you want to follow along, the link is in the description down below. Let's begin. You can add images to your website by using the IMG element and point to a specific images URL using the SRC attribute. An example of this would be, and here you see the bracket with the image element, followed by an SRC equals quotation marks, and inside the quotation marks you have a URL to freecatphotoapp.com slash your image JPEG. Note that image elements are self-closing, meaning you don't need a image forward slash image in brackets to close this out, which is nice. All image elements must have an alt attribute the text inside an alt attribute is used for screen readers to improve accessibility and is displayed if the image fails to load. Note, if the image is purely decorative, using an alt attribute is a best practice. Ideally, the alt attribute should not contain special characters unless needed. Let's add an alt attribute to our image example above. And then here you see after the URL, they close it with the quotation mark. And then there's a space with alt equals and then a quotation mark um, what words you want to display and then another quotation mark and then the self-closing bracket. Let's try to add an image to our website. Within the existing main element, insert an image element before the existing P elements. Now set the SRC attributes so that it points to this URL and finally don't forget to give your image element an alt attribute with applicable text. So down at the objectives we see your page should have an image element. So we'll go ahead and put the image element within the existing main element. So you have the main element and we'll go down inside of that. Oops. Sorry about that. I left clicked. And we will create image. So just hit the left bracket IMG space SRC equals quotation mark and it automatically closes it with the other quotation mark. That's cool. And we want this URL here, the bit.ly slash FCC relaxing cat. So copy that, control C, come up here, control V, paste that. You can see the cat photo displays on the page, which is nice. But we also want an alt image, so we're going to hit space type in alt equals quotation mark and then here we'll say a description of the image we'll say um, cute cat relaxing image and then at the end we hit the closed bracket 
and that closes your image element. Self-closing. Your images element alt attribute should not be empty. Yeah, that means between the quotation marks, alt should equal something, and it's not empty. And uh, let's see, your image should have an SRC attribute that points to the web page, the URL. Your page should have an image element. We have this, let's run the test. And boom shakalaka, I love it. Boom shakalaka, that's great. That's awesome. Good job following along, good job getting this part done and learning about HTML5 elements and putting images on your future web pages. And with that, we're going to go ahead and take it to the outro. Thank you for watching. If you feel this video was helpful or you liked it, then click the like button. If you want to see more content like this, then subscribe. And if you have any questions, post them in the comments down below. I'm Finimus, and I will see you later, and I hope everybody has a good day.